Okay, so I don't know if Filipinos are aware of this, but Laika Estrella, so the winner of Tawag ng Tanghalan, just performed She's Gone by Steelheart on its Showtime from ABS-CBN. And I say I don't know if Filipinos are aware of this because I did not receive enough requests for this performance, okay? I am a huge believer in like Laika Estrella and I feel like not enough Filipinos are hyped up about this uh, belting prospect, okay? This girl is incredible. She gives me Morissette Amon vibes and more, okay? Like, I just feel like not enough Filipinos are talking about... Not enough Filipinos are talking about this woman. Like, her talent. She is extraordinary, in my opinion. And I feel like she needs to be hyped up a little bit more, you know? Like, seriously, Morissette Amon, you know, she... she even though she didn't win uh, The Voice, I believe, People talked about her, like, people who followed the show, who listened to her, realize the potential and the talent. And I feel like Laika Estrella deserves that as well. So, I don't know if you guys are going to be watching with this reaction video, but I don't care, because I really do believe in Laika Estrella. Plus, I love the song She's Gone, and I love, uh, and I know that Filipinos uh, are big fans of this song and that they always sing it when they do uh, karaoke. So I really think that she is one of those belters, new gen belters that is capable not of not only uh, singing it well, but also surprise us with, uh, you know, like her own way of singing it, of making it her own. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Mari gayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. My name is Ovela. I'm a sound engineer, beatmaker, and content creator on YouTube. And with that being said, let's uh, discover it together. Let's go. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. For those of you who don't know why the quality is like this, why is the image tilted to the right and why there are like rain effects on it is so that ABS-CBN does not block the video. It's that simple. Where is she? Ah. Plus, I feel like the theme, the rain theme that they put, you know, that they layered on top of the video fits the ambiance and the energy of this song, you know? It's dramatic, it's sad. Nice. She already she already made it her own. This is why I like like Estrella. You know, she did not wait until the end of the song like most Filipino belters who who decide to make it their own uh, when you know they reach the climax of the song, which is towards the end of the song, and they start like belting. They're like, okay, now I am free to do whatever I want to inject a little bit of my creativity in it by changing, you know. Uh, the runs or whatever. No, she decided to do it at the beginning and I love that about her and it, I feel like she's got so much confidence already <laughs> Woo! With 
the ground. The power, the cleanliness of her voice. Can I say that? Like her voice sounds so clean and yet she did include a little bit of growl in it. So there's a little bit of texture as well. And it just feels so steady. And all of this while belting the hardest parts of the song, she's gone, man. See? See the creativity? I love it, man. Hey, oh. Pushing on the pedal. Oh my god, I love the fact that she's being this creative with it. song is exhausting seriously it's exhausting i don't even think that uh i've ever heard morissette amon sing this song i don't think so have i i mean i know she's capable of singing it but i'm just wondering if i've reacted to it or not because i'd be curious to, to hear morissette amon sing this song and see if she can keep pushing her voice the way uh like estelia is doing and if she would um you know make it her own the way like uh, Estrella did. Like, I feel like it's refreshing to hear this type of cover of uh, She's Gone because I've reacted to so many Filipinos sing this song, especially uh, while using the karaoke machine, but they usually tend to sing it, you know, vanilla. No, she decided to make it her own, and that's the true, uh, the true... Basically, that's how you know that the person that's singing is an artist, you know? It's the true sign of an artist. Okay, so the end was a little bit underwhelming and there were a couple of belts, all right, that weren't perfect unfortunately but still overall i am extremely satisfied because what i wanted more than her nailing each part is the creativity it's her making it her own and making me enjoy the song because when you listen to people cover the song in a vanilla manner you know you get tired of it you're like okay i've heard this song being sung the same way over and over again I want someone to take a chance, you know, to gamble and just try to change it up a little bit. And that's exactly what she did. Thank you, Laika Estrella. And to be honest, I think that if she had decided to sing it vanilla and just focus on belting the song the best way possible and being the closest to the original, I honestly think that she could have been she could have done it and you would have been very satisfied, you know? But no, she decided to try to do both, and I think that's why there were a couple of times where I felt like, ah, ah, you know, like she was uh, maybe slightly flat on a couple of, of notes. 
but other than that i am very very impressed so congratulations to you Leica Estrella and like I said I will keep I, I will keep an eye on her for sure so when you guys send me uh, new performances of Leica I'm always thinking yes I should definitely react to it so that I can give her a boost on uh, on my channel um there you have it people let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this like i said yeah performance of she's gone marami marami salamat po and of course if you found value in this video do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here